So, hi dear Aries, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarwa and this is a journal of reading for all the Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 22nd till the 28th of January. And it's valid for every 12 signs that you're dealing with along with your own sign. If you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. It's super easy to understand in simple plain English language with lifetime access and uh, a certification. If you want to start your self-love journey but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook. Again, it's super easy to understand, loaded with a lot of information and it's super cheap too. So let's start. Your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment. Let's see Aries what's happening. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. Okay, I think there is uh, someone around you who is having lots of like overwhelming kind of feelings for you. They feel like being vulnerable in front of you. For some of you, new love is around the corner. This is someone who is not able to see the clear picture of the situation. They, the things are up in the air between you guys. But this person is feeling lots of overwhelming kind of emotions for the situation. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not, Im not important, not uh, mandatory. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups as their feelings for you. Sorry about the background noises if you are by any chance hearing the background noises. I'm sorry about this. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. We have the Five of Cups, the Hierophant and the Star card. This person is very disappointed, very very disappointed. Okay, this is someone who is like uh, feeling a lot of guilt and shame and regret about whatever they did. Now this person is feeling like healing the situation between you and them. Oh my god, this is something huge. Somebody kicked their ass. <laughs> it is somebody kicked their ass and this person is feeling a lot of regret about whatever they did with you. And they feel like healing the connection with you. Especially if you guys were married or committed or you guys were about to get married or committed to each other. This person is definitely feeling like healing the situation between you and them. Now they are feeling the pain that they gave you at some point of time. For some of you, a new lover is around the corner who is coming out of a very bad marriage or they are coming out of a very bad breakup or separation or divorce. And this person is going to feel like you are the one who can heal them and help them to move on. Take it how it resonates with you. If there is no new person around you, I think there is someone who is trying to heal, like get help from you to heal them. Okay? Or vice versa. Uh, or uh, like uh, for others of you, this person is somebody who left you. Now they are feeling the shame and the guilt and the upset pain. And the, and the pain in the heart. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side. So this is this pain, this time this pain is unbearable. Because major arcana cards are something that's... That's have a very like that's have a very uh, long impact, strong impact on a person, on an individual. Now, uh, from your side, we have the King of Pentacles. I think you are more focused on stability, long-term partnerships. You are more focused on money, or uh, you are being, you are in a like mature kind of uh, state of mind right now. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. You are in this energy of healing yourself, letting go of the stressful energy, the sleepless nights and bringing the balance back in your life. I think uh, it is right now, even if you are a married person, even if you are staying with your partner, you are trying to detach, you are trying to let go of the stressful kind of energies and you are trying to have a balanced kind of energies regarding uh, personal life and professional life. You are trying to balance these two things. And you are trying, you are trying to be uh, as mature, as grounded, as practical about everything in your life as you can. The emperor energy, it's your energy only. There's pain in your heart and soul. But you are in this energy of, okay, let's be practical about life. Okay, uh, emotions are not going to help me. So let's be practical. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Aries, let's see.
queen of cups okay queen of cups queen of pentacles bottom of the deck so i think this person is dealing with somebody else also but as of now this person wants to focus on their individual self love self care and self healing i think they want to keep their emotions to themselves their their things to themselves they don't want to reveal much to anybody but this person is definitely going through some kind of emotional upheaval uh, emotional uh, problems emotional uh, like uh, ups and downs i think uh, okay let's clarify we have the world card the knight of swords and the six of cups this person ended something with someone like just give me a second i have to scratch <laughs> yeah i love yeah, come on anyways this person wants to come towards you rushing towards you for a reconciliation but they are waiting for some kind of ending there is something that's that's still there there is some kind of chapter that's still going on in their life that they needs to completely end before they can come forward towards you and have this reconciliation somebody from your past wants to come back to you but they don't want to give you any hint about that they don't want to tell you anything about whatever is happening in their life they don't they, they just this wow they just want to keep their emotions their things to themselves and they want to come forward only when they are going to feel like okay everything regarding the the other energy is done the other person is done and now they want to move come forward towards you wow energy keeps on shifting yeah come on last last to last week they were not even ready to like look at you now they are in this energy of rushing back towards you what the hell is going on very unstable energies let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side aries i hope nothing hierophant i think okay bottom of the deck is the lovers i think you want to choose choose a new direction whether to stay committed to this person whether to go in another direction whether to choose spirituality whether whether to go with higher level of commitment or just have fun there are lots of options there are lots of ifs and buts and conflicts and confusions going on going on in the in your mind in your heart and soul and you just want to you know understand what you really want in your life right now let's clarify the hierophant we have the sun card the emperor and the chariot oh my god these are four major arcana cards this is something that changed your life for the rest of your life aries you are no longer the same person you just want to be happy and you have decided to move on from something or someone for the be for the best of your like for your best interest and you are in this energy of anjali i know what i want i want higher level of commitment i want good things i want good people i want loyalty i want honesty nothing less than honesty and loyalty is going to make me happy now so okay bottom of the deck was like lovers so you made your choice you made your decision until i was uh, like uh, I, I, until i didn't clarify it i didn't get the answer now i got the answer that you are choosing loyalty honesty a higher level of commitment happiness over instant gratification this is what you want this is something life changing for you because of this situation whatever happened you learnt your lesson and you are like i'm no longer into this kind of on and off in and out um, inconsistent and the stupid uh, kind of energies uh, i'm all about higher level of commitment marriage long term partnership and happiness let's see what's coming towards you till the 28th of january in love aries wow moon card bottom of the deck is a queen of swords i think the moon is telling me that the things that you are very scared of like you are very worried about uh, the mysteries the secrets the lies the cheating so i think these they are going to come out let's clarify the moon you're scared of some kind of outcome or you're constantly worried that this might happen that might happen let's clarify the moon anyways we have the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune and the five of swords i think somebody's ego is slowly but surely somebody's ego is going to die some it's, it's like a death of somebody's ego and somebody is planning to come back towards you it's like somebody so scared to come back towards you they are waiting for the right time so that they can drop their ego completely or they might think that you are no longer angry or you are no longer in this energy of uh, insulting them or saying something rude to them 
then they will try to come towards you wow somebody wants to come towards you but they're so scared to do that and you are also scared that might be this person even if they are going to come towards me they are not going to come towards me with a good energy with a clean slate this that this that ah ah okay the thing is that you know what you want but you're constantly worried that it's never going to happen right but if you are going to be constantly worried about something that doesn't exist as of now how you are going to manifest something that you really want for for you guys i think the outcome is telling me that stop worrying about stop worrying unnecessarily about unnecessarily about things that don't exist okay stop worrying too much for the outcome i am seeing here that somebody is too scared to come towards you so they are going to wait for the time when they feel like their ego is now now their ego is completely dead now they can come forward towards you with this uh, like raw energy that i i, I can't be in a, any kind of ego anymore or i am not scared of uh, aries anymore or their reaction anymore so this person is going to reach out to you but they are going to take time some more time the wheel is slowly but surely turning in your favor please um uh, aries the universe wants me to tell you just uh, stay assured that the 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 ball is going to be in your court very soon but right now instantly it's not happening they will come forward they will ask for another chance but again they are going to take time slowly but surely it's going to happen the guidance here is make sure that love uh, for you the definition of love uh, is actually healthy love if you are obsessed if you are possessive if you are jealous if you are angry if you are in a competition if you are in third parties if this person is constantly giving you hard time constantly giving you competition constantly giving you negativity possessiveness obsessiveness you need to understand the real definition of love here is this something that's going to bring you the healthy uh, love the healthy kind of love the healthy kind of energies that you deserve and hope and desire for or is this something that's uh, like uh, that you want because you want to win the game or you want to win like your ego wants to win this person so that you can reject them or do something stupid them with them as they did with you it's like understand don't waste your time like uh, it's not a video game aries it's your life if you feel this is true love it's giving you healthy boundaries it's giving you healthy energies it's giving you satisfaction it's giving you happiness it's giving you safe and secure kind of environment then it is good otherwise this is something that's not worth waiting for or fighting for just drop it and move forward yes it's very painful yes it's something that uh, like everybody uh, cannot do but this is the right thing to do now it's it's your free will what you want to do what you what you should do right so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste